Hey guys, it's Johnny5. On this video, we're going to be talking about the most common wattages that you would see on these hub motors. So to start off with, what is wattage? Well, a watt is a unit of measure for power. And we most commonly see that on electric motors, sometimes for gas engines and other types of power plants, but mainly electric motors is what we see it on. So to be able to get wattage, you simply take volts times amps to give you your watts. And for an example, if you take a 50 volt motor and you times it by 10 amps, that would be a 500 watt motor. And that's simply all it means. So now you're probably thinking, what motor is the one that is good for me? And I've written down a chart here to help figure that out. Now, if you take a 500 watt hour battery, which means it can store or deliver 500 watts for one hour straight, and you're riding at 20 miles an hour at full throttle. Now that's given all the electric motors here, the 500 watt, the 750 watt, and the 1000 watt motor. If we break it down, you can see that if you have a 500 watt motor and a 500 watt hour battery, it will take one hour to, to deplete that battery. And that will give you a range of 20 miles if you're running at 20 miles an hour. Now, if you have a 750 watt motor on that same battery pack, it will cut your time down to 40 minutes. And given this is again at 20 miles an hour at full throttle, and that cuts your range down to 13.3 miles. And with a 1000 watt motor, it's 30 minutes, 10 miles. So you get the idea. Now, how does that help me decide any of this? So if you like to go fast, if you like to climb hills quicker, you want to go fast. Let's, let's put it that way. And you want to stick with a motor that is 750 watt, 1000 watt, or even bigger then you have to keep in mind that you're going to cut your range, you're going to cut your ride time, but if you're looking for more power overall, and if you're looking for a fun time, maybe just a close range ride around your house or something, or, you know, around the park, whatever it is, then you'll want to go with the bigger motor setup. If you're looking for more of a range setup, and you don't mind pedaling up some hills more often, you don't mind going a little bit slower in a lot of cases with these smaller motors, then running one of these is going to be your friend. And with that comes more range because the motor is using overall less power to run. So if you're looking for range and you're looking for more of a workout on your bike, then a 500 watt motor is probably more of what you're going to want. So keep in mind, 750 on up is pretty much a hot rod of an e-bike. And also here in the United States, 750 watts on, on the streets is the legal limit for power. Otherwise, you're getting into an off-road area, which uh, could limit some of us if we're living in cities or whatnot. So keep in mind that that chart was just a reference point. Uh, there's tons of variables like wind, um, bike tire size, your frame, um, the rider, you. How are you helping the bike? Are you pedaling? Are you not pedaling? And uh, just so on and so forth. There's a lot of variables going on. But hopefully this video helps you get a better understanding of wattage on motors and what that might mean for you. So that's it for this video. I hope that helped you out a little bit on figuring out what motor size you might want to run. And until the next video, we'll see you next time. Bye.